curtailment or limitation of the energy supply. An important solution in the energy transition. But how do we use that intelligently and effectively? Together, we are generating more and more sustainable electricity. That is positive in view of the climate targets and with a view to the transition from fossil to sustainable energy sources, such as solar and wind energy. But the level of generation of all those extra solar and wind farms fluctuates quite a bit. This generation is highly dependent on weather conditions. This creates challenges because how do we keep a balance between the demand for electricity and the supply on the electricity grid? For example, we can store excess electricity temporarily in batteries. In the future, you will see that happen more and more, but for the time being, scalability is another challenge. Energy companies and grid operators can also ask consumers to consume more electricity for a fee or shift the consumption to another moment. Or curtailment, which is limiting the solar or wind energy that is delivered to the grid. Curtailment can be used for national imbalances, especially when there is little demand for electricity and the supply is large. Such a situation can lead to prices risks, such as negative electricity prices. It then costs producers money to put electricity into the grid. If negative prices occur more often, this inhibits the motivation to invest further in making the Dutch energy mix more sustainable. In addition, a lot solar and wind energy can put the transport capacity under pressure or create congestion in the local power grid. We call this congestion grid congestion. By temporarily switching off parts of a solar or wind farm parts to curtail, there is less electricity on the local grid where the congestion is, and the congestion is resolved. This can be done much faster than a power plant can shut down. Curtailment can be done in different ways. A farm may be completely shut down. Or, a maximum production peak is set. That sounds contradictory to the sustainability goals. But curtailment is a powerful tool in the energy transition. In the short term, this gives the grid operators breathing room. It supports them in stabilizing the grid. In the long run, curtailment can ensure that the electricity grid needs to be expanded less. This is because it helps to absorb peaks through sustainable generation. For energy suppliers, curtailment helps to keep the balance of the connections in their portfolio better and more flexibly. Ultimately, this can result in low costs for customers. And curtailment keeps investment in sustainable generation interesting and thus supports the progress of the energy transition. It is more attractive for producers of, for example, a wind farm to switch off capacity for a fee than to deliver to the grid at negative prices. Curtailment will be used increasingly in the coming years, as long as an excess of sun and wind causes negative prices in the market or just where there is congestion. So it's an important step in the transition towards a fully green energy system. Do you want to know more about curtailment? Go to our website.